Hello, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will show you how to crochet this pretty flat bell for a Christmas tree. The bell is about three and a half inches tall. I am going to crochet using cotton thread size 10 and my hook is 1.95 millimeter. We'll start with a magic loop in which we'll make eight double crochets and in the next row, 16 double crochets in those eight. So I am making a magic loop like this. Chain three instead of the first double crochet and uh, seven double crochets more. So this will be two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Chain three instead of the first double crochet and on the other side another double crochet in the same stitch and then two double crochets in each double crochet. Two. Two in the next one. Two in the following one, I have made eight so far. Now ten, twelve. Fourteen, and uh, um, the last two will go in the third beginning chain. We can use just one thread here. One and two. Sixteen double crochet stitches. Now we are going to separate those 16 stitches into three groups, six, these five, and one which we'll later use for working on the sides. So six double crochets, four double crochets, and six double crochet stitches, which in this third row will be separated by chain one, but then we'll increase the number of chain stitches between those groups. Chain three as always at the beginning and then five more double crochets. Stitch and stitch. I have made three, four, five, six, chain one. Now four double crochets. One, two, three, four, chain one and six double crochets again. One, two, Three, four, five, six. So we have made three rows so far. Now please make um, four more rows on your own, two rows 
which will be almost the same, but instead of chain one, there will be chain two here around the group of four double crochets and two rows with chain three in this place. So two rows with two, two rows with three chain stitches, and then I'll show how to continue. I have finished making seven rows, and now in row number eight, after making six double crochets, we'll make chain five. We'll work all these four double crochets together We'll make chain five again before making the last six double crochets. So chain three and the double crochets one, two, three, four, five. Six all together, chain five. Now we'll begin the first double crochet, won't finish it, we'll begin the next one, won't finish it, and we'll repeat it two more times. And now we'll finish it all together will make a really tight chain stitch and four more chain five and six double crochets to finish this row Row number eight. Now in these four double crochets together, we'll make six triple crochet stitches with chain two between and chain three on both sides. So once again, six double crochets at first. Five and six. Now chain three and we'll start making triple crochets. Thread over twice and we'll be working in this chain that finished all those four double crochets and we'll make one triple crochet, chain two, one more triple crochet, chain two, one more triple crochet, chain two, this, this was number four, now five, chain two, we need six. And the chain three and finish this row please with six double crochets. In row number 10, in each of these uh, chain two spaces, we'll make a puff stitch that consists of three triple crochets finished together with chain three between those stitches and the chain three on both sides. The usual beginning of six double crochets.
four, five, six, chain three, and now we are going to work in this chain two space. We'll begin a triple crochet stitch. We'll pull the hook through once, twice, but won't finish it. Once again, thread over twice. We'll put, we'll pull the hook through two times, not the last one, and we'll do it one more time. Pull the hook through two times and finish it all one really tight chain stitch and two more now we'll start another puff stitch thread over twice start the first triple crochet start the second triple crochet start one more triple crochet and then finish them all together make a tight chain stitch and two more and repeat it three more times one unfinished triple crochet the second one the third one finish it together chain three and so on finish this row on your own please in the last row in addition to those six and six double crochets we'll be making four double crochet stitches in each chain three space with a pico in the middle this way we'll make six groups of four double crochets with picots so one last time i'm making six double crochets five and uh, six In this chain three space, two double crochets, chain four for a pico, a slip stitch in the top of this second double crochet using two threads, and uh, two more double crochets. One, two we'll do the same in the next chain three space two double crochets one two chain four a slip stitch in the top of this last double crochet that we made and the two more double crochets And one more time, two double crochets, chain four, a slip stitch for a pico using two threads, two double crochets. And now finish this row on your own please this was the last row now one more thing to do is to work on the sides to make three single crochets around each double crochet that we made on the sides of the bell so turn work around and uh, start working under this last double crochet that we made and make three single crochets 
and three single crochets around the next double crochet and three more around the next one one two three and continue this pattern until you get to the magic loop please make a single crochet in the magic loop and then chain 30 or so for a loop hanger Twenty five, thirty, a slip stitch in the first chain stitch, and a single crochet, one more single crochet in the magic loop, and uh, now continue with the pattern of three single crochets around each double crochet working in this end of thread so that we wouldn't have to worry about it later like this continue working on this side of the bell please The crocheting part is finished. Now on your screen you see the link to the video that shows how to use uh, cornstarch and other things to shape crocheted items. Watch it if you want to. After taking the bells out of boiled starch, stretch them well, give them the desired shape and leave them to dry on cotton cloth for about 24 hours. During this time, periodically continue stretching them since uh, crocheted items tend to shrink a little while they are drying. This is it for today. If you liked the video, please push the like button. And if you want to be informed of other projects on the channel, consider subscribing and pushing the bell button. Thanks for watching this video. See you next time. Bye-bye.